Hey, what's up guys? My name is Jason777, and in this video I'm going over a bunch of random changes that happened in Warframe, and what I thought was a nerf for Excalibur, and it wasn't. So, um, taking a look first at Excalibur here, um, I'm gonna put my Halloween colors on, because I'm just a boss like that. Um, so, he actually had to get a little bit of a a change in his abilities. I still need to buy Exilus mod slot so I can put Handspring on. But um, this is my new build for him. Um, I added more duration because they changed him a bit. And I actually don't have Fleeting Expertise. I haven't tested this build very much, but you may or may not need a Fleeting Expertise. Um, that's still kind of being decided. But um, this is the general build I have for him right here. And the reason being that I changed it for more duration is if you look here on the bottom right on Exalted Blade, it says energy per second, and right now it's at 1.13. And that means it's going to drain 1.13 energy per second while the ability is activated. If I go in here and I were to put on Fleeting, actually, I'll, I'll give a better demonstration. Um, I'll take off duration, I'll just unequip this mod for a second. So if I take off duration and you come look at this again, now the energy drain is 1.75. And it's not like that much of a massive increase, but it's still more. And if I actually were to put on a fleeting now, you would assume, oh, well, your energy drain is going to be uh, even better now. So I should it should go down because my efficiency went up, right? But if you look at it, now the energy per second is 2.5. So it actually, putting on fleeting actually decreased my um, efficiency. So the reason that this happened is because they made it so energy per second is affected by duration. And fleeting expertise reduces duration and increases efficiency. Now, if you throw on a prime continuity that pretty much counteracts all of the negativity from fleeting, and if I look again, now the energy per second is 1.05. So that's really nice. Um, the only reason you would want to put on fleeting instead of streamline is if you wanted to spam radial blind. So, I mean, if you were going to make another build, I would just switch out uh, streamline for fleeting, and then you can just sit there and use radial blind and exalted blade all day long and not have an issue. Um, the duration on your radio blind would be less though so to be honest the best way you could build them I think is just with streamline instead of fleeting because you get maximum uh, energy per second on exalted blade by the way guys it's pretty nice that they show you now the stats with your mods like you can do it without mods and with mods you can see the green numbers are all the stats that are being increased and red numbers are the ones being decreased I don't have any red numbers because I'm just such a boss at building. Now, looking at another character, Ember Prime also got a little bit of a change. Um, her abilities, oh my gosh, gotta have this. I'm actually taking off the annoying helmet now, or the annoying pumpkin head, because that's, you know, obviously getting a little annoying now. So, her world on fire has the same effect. Um, the energy drain per second is um, gonna work the exact same way as Excalibur now. She does not have duration on World on Fire, so that's really nice, because that was kind of annoying before. This is the build I have for her at the moment. Um, again, this one hasn't been, like, tested really intensely. I haven't taken her into, like, a 60-minute survival yet, and neither did I do that with Excalibur. Um, so just keep that in mind. So if you guys want to test this build, then you can. Um, all of my builds are meant to do 60 minute survivals and um, you know 60 waves in defense or actually 40 waves in defense. Defense kind of scales more quickly so Equinox actually got a buff to um, rest and rage and the base radius on the ability was increased it was doubled. The uh, It was actually the power range was doubled is what they said. Um, I don't really use rest and rage still so I don't really care too much about that. Um, and the energy per second was also implemented into this. I didn't change the build yet to have any duration, so I'm probably going to do that now. <laughs> Alright, there we go. Now that's what I'm talking about. If 
I'm correct here, yeah, the energy drain per second is slightly lower now. That's what I wanted. Um, so I'm thinking that might work really well still. Um, the pacify and provoke still has really low energy consumption, sort of. It's only 2.1 per power. That's nice. Uh, rest and rage is actually going to be usable now. That's cool. So yeah, um, but overall, I kind of agree with the changes so that you have to have duration in in order to make your energy per second go down. Um, seems kind of useful to me. Um, I don't think I'm going to change that anymore. I mean, honestly, I think if I put on, because having more duration than you need. Um, or having positive duration doesn't matter too much, oddly enough. Um, except on your abilities that obviously are massively affected by that. Never mind, I can't even put fleeting on because I have exactly uh, all of my energy used right now. So yeah, I think I'll just stick with that. Um, this is literally just a purely theoretical build right now, guys. Um, if you're wanting to test it, feel free. Um, I'm just trying to show you guys um, kind of the way you should change your builds. You kind of want to implement duration into them. Oh yeah, Valkyr. Valkyr was a good one too. There's so many different frames that were uh, affected by these changes that I really wish that they would put that skin up. They don't have it on console yet. You PC guys are lucky. <laughs> I don't know what they're doing with that. Hopefully we get the skin soon, honestly. I'm really looking forward to it. I already got the plat, as you can see on the top there. <laughs> I literally got all that plat specifically for the skin. Um, and for Valkyr, I don't know if they really intended for this to be this OP or not, but I literally am completely invincible the entire time with this build. I've tested this build up to 60 minutes, and you just don't die. And it does crazy damage. And Paralysis buffs your damage too, so make sure you use Paralysis very useful now. Um, paralysis is the um, ability where she just kind of screams outward and um, it costs like almost no energy. I think with this build it was only like three or four energy or something. It was really low energy cost and fantastic. And using Hysteria, when you get kind of far into the survival there's lots of enemies and it it's almost impossible to run out of energy unless you spam all of your other abilities and if you ever like get close to running out of energy just stop using your other abilities so much and you're good <laughs> uh, Trinity didn't really get any changes she's still badass I'll show you guys her build too just because I can um, this build is basically um, you run around take a bunch of health damage and then use uh, blessing when you're down to two health it's real effective. Uh, I'm probably going to make more in-depth builds right now for you guys so you guys can actually see the specifics of each one of these and I'll actually show some gameplay but that was just a brief overview of how you should build with the new energy drain on the characters. Just be sure duration is very important. Put on duration. If you have a primed continuity you can use that and fleeting expertise and you'll get the max amount of energy drain per second with only two mod cards. So. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope you guys have a fantastic day. Thank you for watching. Subscribe. All of that good stuff. And I'll see you guys probably in a couple minutes because I'm going to upload another video of using these frames. So, see you guys later.